write the sentence. It's because all of us have done this thing of either starting papers with, starting speeches with, with somebody else's quotes, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. So you can be guaranteed if you're a writer that someone is going to remember something if you say it well. They're going to remember and say it again and again and again and again. So this notion of really sculpting, right? Every single sentence you write is absolutely what you want to do as an artist. Do not get lazy about any sentence. Every sentence means something. Every sentence carries your integrity in it. Every sentence bespeaks your character. Mm -hmm. So make sure that you do everything necessary. Revise every single word of every single thing you ever write. Sometimes it comes out excellent. Sometimes. Sometimes. But usually excellence is an achievement. It's not a birthing. It's an excellence which you have to reach for over and over and over again. What I want to talk about just for a hot minute is this notion of form. Right? In terms of writing. And I want us, especially when talking about creative writing and fiction, poets get a little more latitude, but fiction writers don't get quite as much latitude, or sometimes we just don't take it. Because we think the form in which fiction uh, functions, and we think the way in which fiction is done is so fixed, right, that we generally don't challenge notions of form. One of the things I do in this novel is I'm challenging notions of form in terms of the traditional novella form, right? You'll notice there are no chapters in this book, right? Um, so you can't go to chapter 16. You can't do that. There are spaces, though, right? As in here, also there are spaces even between places like here. In those spaces is when I imagine the people silent, mm -hmm. right? That's what it meant. Otherwise, the whole thing would have just been one narrative, right? And so what I'm trying to do in form is trying to give you in form what I thought was the magnitude of, of the way in which the narrative itself unfolded. And so what I want you to do for just a minute is I want you to play with something in terms of form. In other words, do, does the writing have to go from the left to the right of the page? No. Must it? No. But how difficult is it to write from the right left? far more difficult than you've ever imagined as you're about to see. Does the writing even have to go linearly? I wonder if you can write from the bottom up. Mm -hmm. And I wonder how differently creativity may flow for you if you gave it a new pathway in which to express itself. What if you wrote diagonally, right, from this corner to that one until that was filled, and then turned it and wrote that way, right? Wonder what would happen. Wonder what would happen if you attempted to write an entire short story. The, a whole 10 page short story is one sentence. The whole thing is one sentence. It is possible. And it doesn't have to be a run on. It will be very long. But a long sentence and a run on sentence are not the same thing. You can have a run on sentence that's one line. Right. But you, was, you certainly need some grammar and mechanics if you're going to sustain a sentence for six pages. you got to know what you're doing. But that could be hot. When the first breath a person gets is six pages later. That's hot. That's really hot. What would it mean to, to write something and all of your words are three-letter words? Every, everything in this book is a three-letter word. What would it mean to write and you don't allow yourself um, to use any adjectives? All this is a question of form, and it is absolutely possible. See, the, and the tricky thing about adjectives, remember this. <laughs> when you're writing, young juvenile writers, we lean too heavily upon adjectives. So we say, the pretty girl, right? If I said, <laughs> tell me your name, sister. Noel. If I say, Noel is pretty, that does not tell you how she looks. <laughs> what does pretty look like? She can look like this. She can look like her. They're both pretty, but they don't look alike. So you see, the, the word pretty did you no work in terms of description. Y'all follow me, right? So how could we describe Noel? How can we describe Noel that makes us know what Noel looks like? Not that gives you my value for what she looks like. Right? Someone help me. We're describing Noel. She has curly hair. Well, most people in here, he does too. Oh, okay. 
Is your hair curly? I mean, yeah, I think so. You get it? You had it your whole life? Yeah. What do you call it? Uh, curly. Yeah. Curly. Curly. <laughs> That's a whole nother session, okay. Okay, okay. Help us out. She has blue on. So we have some people in this room. She has like navy blue. I'm trying to find the scriptures that don't fit anyone else. Softball. Yeah. Uh, Howard softball. Yeah. That does not tell what she looks like. She's a star. The creative process. She has long eyelashes. Okay. I have long eyelashes. How's she going? Huh? I think he's as long as her. Look at him. <laughs> Take your eyes off so he you in your eyes. <laughs> Hers are longer? Okay. Okay. Uh, define cheekbones. Defined? What does that mean? Um, they stand out. They're pretty, like, not pretty, but. A centimeter measurement. I mean, more than. Yeah, they're not fast. Okay. 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 She has slight but full lips. Slight but full? What does that mean? What is slight? Okay. Okay. The you see how hard this is when you're really doing it, right? What keeps most of us as young writers, and of course part of this master class is graduating from that, is, is that we usually describe not what, we're not really describing people. We're describing what we think about them. You see what I'm saying? So I said, she's pretty. That's, that's, that's just what I think about her. Um, and, 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 and we do this thing. Coco skin, oh, people, stop. <laughs> Half the people at this table skin is Coco. What the hell does Coco mean? <laughs> we just try not to say brown. <laughs> um, there's something else, too. Um, um, her crescent moon hairline. Nine. <laughs> that's nine. Because that's not most people. Right? But again, it took me two minutes to come up with that. And that's what you want. That's what you want. Pay the dues to have something original. Pay the dues to have something that is just that original. It's just that excellent, right? So what I want you to do for a minute, right, is I want you to pair yourselves in groups of two. Right. And you're going to describe that, that person you're looking at. 